Can a robot truly remember you? I mean, really remember you, not just match your face to a name tag in its database. We humans are laughably bad at it, aren't we? We forget names seconds after hearing them. We misremember birthdays, anniversaries, and that one time we swore we returned our friend's favorite book. Our memory is a fuzzy, emotional, and gloriously unreliable tapestry. Look at all these people! It's amazing! Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. If you plan to have any intimate acts with your robot partner, in that case, social memory plays a very important role. Now the question is whether your robot partner, your love robot, can possess genuine social memory or not. Because past plays a very important role in the present, even in the future. Now, uh, why this question is important? Because contrasting a machine's potentially perfect recall with our own flawed emotional human memory, uh, it uh, really is a very complex process, first of all. And it uh, also in this video, I also try to probe whether a robot can truly understand past interactions or just log them as data. Now, look, Memory uh, is a very complex thing, you know, and uh, it is not only uh, some kind of mathematical binary data like 0 and 1 that uh, computers usually uh, keep uh, in their hard disk. And robot is uh, not an exception here, uh, because from a, if we try to look at a, uh, from a hardware perspective, the robot's superhuman sponsors gather constant information, but we miss the emotional context behind it because each and every kind of intimate acts have some emotional context. So what happens when we invite a partner with a potentially perfect silicon-based memory into our lives? Let's start with the hardware, the robot's body in this strange new world of social connection. Think of its cameras as eyes, but eyes that never blink and see in resolutions we can only dream of. Can these high-definition optics capture the subtle crinkle around your eyes when you tell a white lie? Sure, they can. Its microphones are ears that can isolate your voice in a cacophony, filtering out the clatter of life to hang on your every word. But does hearing the decibel level of your laughter mean it understands the joke? Tactile sensors woven into its fingertips can detect the slightest change in your pulse during a hug, a barometer for your emotional state. Is this an intimate connection or just data collection with a comforting pressure setting? The hardware, in essence, is a set of superhuman senses gathering an avalanche of data about you every single second. It's like living with a walking, talking, high-fidelity recording studio that never runs out of tape. But what happens to all this data? This is where the software, the robot's mind, comes into play. Imagine a library, not of dusty books, but of perfectly preserved moments. Every conversation, every shared glance, every fleeting expression is cataloged, indexed, and stored with flawless precision. With it, the software acts as a flawless library of every shared moment, raising the question of whether this constitutes true empathy or merely advanced pattern recognition. Finally, I would like to add here that algorithms, while powerful, struggle to comprehend human nuances like sarcasm and irony. Still, there are so many challenges we need to face uh, as long as uh, this uh, question will uh, come to our mind whether a robot can possess genuine social memory or not. That is why 
I uh, have put uh, a compelling counter argument. That is a partner. Okay, a partner with perfect unforgiving memory could be terrible for a relationship. And you know, human relationship is sometimes or in most cases uh, really very messy, unpredictable. And that is why human relationship is not working in many cases. And we see uh, around us there are a lot of breakups happen in the young generations, especially. However, however, uh, still a partner uh, often thrives on forgiveness and softened uh, recollections. Uh, and there are a lot of things that we uh, need to uh, add to this context because it also raises uh, crucial philosophical and security concerns about sharing a past with a machine that never forgets. And uh, that is why I try to I try to uh, conclude that the real goal is not creating a perfect memory, but a wise one uh, that is that involves some kind of wisdom, uh, a memory that knows what to remember and what to let go, and that is really really very important because we don't want to keep everything in our mind. We try to forget something also, even in some intimate acts. Your robot partner could, in theory, recall the exact intonation you used on a Tuesday three years ago when you said you were fine. Terrifying, isn't it? The software's job is to make sense of this library, to connect the dots between the data points. It's the difference between knowing you smiled 3.7 seconds longer than average yesterday and understanding that it was because you finally finished a difficult project. Researchers are constantly pushing the boundaries, developing sophisticated software that can interpret emotional cues and social context. We see glimpses of this in the wild, with companies creating AI companions designed to learn and adapt to their users. But are they truly learning empathy or just becoming exceptionally good at pattern recognition? Is it a ghost of a soul or just a very, very clever script? This brings us to the most magical and mysterious part of the equation, the algorithm. The algorithm is the choreographer of this intricate dance between hardware and software. It's the set of rules that tells the robot how to process the information its senses gather and how to react. Facial recognition algorithms are already astonishingly powerful, capable of picking you out of a crowd with unnerving accuracy. But recognizing a face is child's play compared to recognizing a mood. Natural language processing, NLP, algorithms allow a robot to understand the words you say, but can they grasp the meaning between the lines? Can an algorithm truly comprehend sarcasm, irony, or the gentle teasing that defines so much of human interaction? Herein lies the counter logic, the beautiful friction in this whole endeavor. A robot partner with a perfect memory, governed by rigid algorithms, might be a terrible partner. Humans bond over shared, and often flawed, memories. We forgive because we forget, or at least, the sharp edges of memory dull over time. Would a robot partner ever truly forgive a mistake if it could replay the incident with perfect clarity? Forever? Could you build a relationship on a foundation where one partner has a ledger of every error you've ever made? What if this flawless memory could be hacked, manipulated, or even sold? Imagine an argument with your robotic spouse, only to find it citing a memory of something you never did, uploaded by a malicious actor. The reliability of a robot's social memory isn't just a technical question of processing power and code. Is a deeply philosophical one. Can a machine, no matter how advanced, truly partake in the messy, beautiful, and fundamentally irrational experience of a shared past? Or will it forever be an observer, a perfect archivist of moments it can never truly understand? Perhaps the goal isn't to create a partner who remembers everything perfectly. Maybe the real challenge is designing a companion who knows what's worth remembering and perhaps what's worth forgetting. So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon 
to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden set so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe